Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Blue Moon Bay Speedway. It's infield day, short track, six laps. So let's see how we get on. Now, as you can see, we're in a different car now. We're in the SLS AMG. And I've got to be honest with you, I am starting to really, really, really enjoy this car. I miss the Mustang, I really do. But this is actually one of the first cars I've jumped into since trying out different cars, which I seem to have gelled with pretty, pretty well. So as you saw, we started at eighth, got a poor start, went straight down to 10th back up to eight so not too bad you know it's a decent enough start but like i said it's a six lap race here at blue moon it's a short track only 10 corners but there is six laps so there's a lot that could potentially go on throughout this so let's see how we get on we normally only do about five laps this has got an extra lap to go um but i actually really enjoy this track as well if you haven't tried this track highly recommend it give it a go let me know what you think in the comments. Now, as you can see, coming to turn 7 and 8 here, everyone's still really bunched up. The guy, the British guy on the right there, just runs off track. He just ran out of room. I snuck up his inside. And instead of bailing out because he realised he was going to go off track, he just tried to stick it and ended up going off track. The, the move was done. I'm going to say that. You know, I didn't push him. He left the door open. I took it. He really should have noticed and he should have backed off just enough. But he didn't see end up on the grass and I come through one lap down, five to go, and we've moved up into sixth place. Now, this uh, this S SLS, like I was saying, I really started to gel with this car. Now, this is one of the first races I did in it, so I'm still learning the car, still learning how to drive around this specific track in it as well, because I've raced in the Mustang for so long that you get, you get used to where you need to brake, where you need to accelerate, where you need to turn. Everything is completely different. But I've tried a handful of cars since the Mustang. This is the one that I've gelled with the best. So I think we're going to stick with it. As I, the door's left wide open there from the fellow Brit, and up I go. That was very, very easy overtake, I will admit. He left that door wide open. I, I, he just mustn't have seen me. I'm trying to keep it as tight as I can. Almost lose it, though, coming out of turn number eight there as we come down to turn number nine. This is the hardest one. Coming through here, if you hit that wall, super close to the wall. But if you hit it, you suffer all the way around this bend and straight down to turn number one because it's just a long long straight we're gonna have a drag race with the plane as well apparently i don't think we're gonna win that um but yeah sorry yeah so um yes yeah, so it's, it's definitely the car that i started to gel with and it's very good indeed now as you can see the fellow brit there six coming back used the slipstream all the way down that straight there to see if he could just get his nose up the inside it just wasn't enough and he backed out of it at the very last second probably saved himself though because if he hadn't there's a very good chance he would have run uh, into the side of me we probably would have both gone off and he may have even got a penalty for it so he actually did a very very clever thing there he backed off remained in sick and he's then going to use my slipstream again all the way down the home straight now as you can see the guys in front there's four of them they're, they're closely grouped which is good it's good for me because they at some point will start fighting hopefully sooner than later um, so that's good for me however you can see they're actually starting to get away from me a little bit here and it's because again like I said this track and this car I'm still getting used to the car on the track I'm still trying to drive it like I would in the Mustang and this car is completely different and I, it's just difficult to break a habit after you've been doing it so long so I am suffering a little bit but we are still in fifth place we started in eighth we went straight down to tenth off the line a very poor start but we got up into fifth Right, and we're halfway through the race now. There's three laps to go. We're on lap four and six, so there's three laps to go. So we're not doing too bad. There's still room to pick up if I can just get used to this car. There is still room. I go super close to that grass, but I have gone purple on lap four, which means that's the fastest anyone's gone through the first sector. However, pushing a little bit too hard the losing time to the guys ahead. You can see now the gap's just opened up even more. I really need to keep my nose out of the grass and keep pressuring, well, I say pressuring, I can't really put pressure on them from here, but keep pushing to hopefully put some pressure on them. Because if they see me coming, they may have to start thinking defensive. Whereas the guy in fourth of them, it doesn't have to think defensive at all, he's just got to think attack. Uh, so he's he's more, go, more so going to be pulling away. And they're in a slipstream train. Again, not good for me. I'm in my, you know, there's no one helping me down these straights. Um, yeah, so they, they've got a higher top end than I have. I go to the left just because I know there's someone behind me. And I don't really want them to come on the inside to try and take the corner. Um, I do want to stay ahead. Yes, I could let them through, grab the slipstream. But this track, you're really only going to get slipstream down that street. And 
Well, you can see I'm starting to fall off the pace now, and it's not good. I am pushing, though. Um, I am pushing, but it's not going well. So <laughs> close to that wall on the inside. And because of that, I run wide onto the grass on the left there. I've, I've spun it there before, so that was... <laughs> I'll admit when that happened. Oh, someone, something's happened. Someone stopped. Someone's quit out. All right. Um, I don't know what happened, though. I'll be completely honest. But it's a free place, and I will take it. We are now all over the guy in third place who, who's also cut out. Okay. Oh, well, we're on the podium. <laughs> we're on the podium from nowhere. Two drivers just deciding, nope, that's enough. I've had enough. I'm going. Taking me ball. I'm going in. I mean, there's only one lap to go. What has happened there? I have no idea. I mean, I've, I've led from the beginning of a race to the entirety of to the last corner and been took out and end up coming in dead last. I just don't quit out though. You just don't quit out. It? You know, you just carry on driving. I don't know. But it's a podium. It, a cheap podium. I'll admit, I'll put my hands up. Not deserved. But so far, potentially, this is going to be a podium finish. And I don't really deserve to be there. I will admit that. But that's just how it goes sometimes. That's just how it goes. You've got to be in the right place at the right time to take advantage of someone's mistake, or in this case, two people quitting out. And that's where I was. I was there, I'd done the work, I'd got up to fifth place, two people quit out, I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm going to come around turn right now, down to the last corner. As long as I can get this right, this is a P3, close as I can, and Lenny Renard, super, super close to that outside edge there. It's going to be an interesting battle to fourth, though. That's going to be interesting. But we're going to come round, we're going to go down now to cross the checkered flag that is on the floor, actually. It's like a checkered markings. Here we go. Across the line, it's a P3 for myself. Not deserved, but that's where we ended up. So there you go. It's a bit of a weird one, but yeah, I don't know. But anyway, that's all I've got time for, so I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give us a like and a comment, and until next time, see ya.